What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to look through the 20 companies that make up my stock portfolio. We talk about how much the value of the portfolio is worth, how much an monthly, quarterly and yearly dividends I get paid for this amount, the, the July transactions that I have made thus far, the diversification of my overall portfolio, my plans going forward for the portfolio and finally my plans for other passive income streams going forward. But before we get into today's video, I just want to mention two things. Firstly, I want to just congratulate my buddy Ewan Copeland for now having over 1,000 subscribers. If you aren't subscribed to his channel, be sure to go check him out as his videos are very good. And secondly, I just want to say thanks to the 136 people that have subscribed to this channel so far. And if you haven't done so already, I'd be also very grateful if you could subscribe to this channel for more videos. So with that being said, let's dive right into today's video. So as at Monday the 6th of July 2020, my portfolio is currently worth just under $4,500 and it is up 1.4%. As I previously stated, this portfolio is consisted of 20 different companies. Obviously, as there's 20 companies and the portfolio is worth just under $4,500, the holdings per company is quite small. But what I wanted to do was build a well diversified, good structure to a 20 company portfolio and building these holdings going forward. So in alphabetical order, the first company is Apple, symbol AAPL. It is in the tech sector. I have one share, the average price was $311.30 and I'll be getting an annual income of $3.04. The second company is AT&T with symbol T. It is in the communication sector and I have five shares at an average price of $30.91. I'll be getting an annual income of $10.40 in dividends. The third company is in the financial sector and it is the Bank of America with ticker symbol BAC. I have 21 shares in this company with an average price of $22.48 and I will be getting an annual dividend income of $15.12. The fourth company on the list is Chevron and I bought this today. The ticker symbol is CVX and is in the energy sector. I currently hold just one share at an average price of $89.74 and I will be getting an annual income of dividends of $4.76. Next up is Coca-Cola with ticker symbol KO. It is in the communication staple sector. I have 16 shares with an average price of $44.85 and I will be getting an annual dividend income of $26.24. The second energy sector company on the list is ExxonMobil and it is ticker symbol XOM. I, again, I just have the one share in this company with an average price of $43.91 and I will be getting an annual dividend income of $3.48. One of my non-dividend growth stocks on the list is Facebook with ticker symbol FB. Facebook is in the technology sector and I currently have just the one share with an average price of $235.25. The third tech company on the list is IBM with ticker symbol IBM. It is, I only currently have one share at an average price of $131.20 and with this one share I will be receiving $6.52 in annual income through dividends. My sole healthcare sector on the list is Johnson & Johnson with ticker symbol J&J. I have three shares in this company at an average price of $152.26 and with these three shares I will be gaining $12.12 .12 in annual income through dividends. Next up is JP Morgan and Chase with ticker symbol JPM. JP Morgan is in the financial sector and I have one share in this company at an average price of $92.70. With this one share I will gain $3.60 in annual dividend income. Another stock that I have recently acquired is McDonald's with ticker symbol MCD. McDonald's is in the consumer discretionary sector and I currently have one share with an average price of $183.95. With this one share, I will be gaining $5 in annual dividend income. The next company is Microsoft, which I have just bought today. It is ticker symbol MSFT and is in the tech sector. I bought one share at an average price of $208.53. Through this, I'll be getting an annual dividend income of $1.89. Pepsi is next on the list with ticker symbol PEP. It is in the consumer staple sector and I have one share in this company at a price of $134.38. And through this one share, I will gain $4.09 in annual dividend income. At number 14, we have Procter & Gamble with its ticker symbol PG. 
It is in the consumer staple industry with a one share in this company at an average cost of $121.97 and through this one share I will get an annual dividend income of $2.95. The 15th company in the stock dividend portfolio is Realty Income with ticker symbol O. It is my one stock in the real estate industry and I have two shares in this company at an average price of $60.69 and through these two stocks I will get $5.60 in annual dividend income. In the utility sector I have one company which is Waste Management with ticker symbol WM. I have three shares in this company at an average price of $98.65. And through these three, these three shares, I will gain $6.15 in annual dividend income. Company number 17 is Walmart, with ticker symbol WMT. Walmart is in the consumer staple industry, and I have one share in this company, which was the average cost of $119.91. And through this one share, I will gain $2.16 in annual dividend income. At number 18, and the second company that is not currently paying a dividend income is Walt Disney with ticker symbol DIS. Walt Disney is in the communication sector and I have one share in this company at an average price of $122.30. At number 19, we have another financial sector company in Wells Fargo, which is ticker symbol WFC. I have three shares in this company with an average price of $29.78. And through these three shares, I will gain $5.76 in annual dividend income. And the 20th company on this list is 3M, with ticker symbol MMM. 3M is in the industrial sector, and I have two shares in this company at an average price of $150. Through these two shares, I will gain $11.76 in annual dividend income. Through this 20 company stock dividend portfolio, I will be gaining both capital gains and dividend payouts. Obviously, because this portfolio isn't that big yet, the stock dividends aren't large either. But hopefully down the line, I'm hoping this compound effect will build these up gradually. So at the moment, we are at $10.89 in average monthly dividend income, which equates to $32.66 quarterly and I'm up to $130.64 annually through dividend payouts. So, so far in July, there has been seven transactions on this portfolio. We received a dividend payout from Coca-Cola after tax of $5.58. And today I went and bought six more shares, one in AT&T with a total cost after fees of $31.13, one share in Realty Income, $62.81, one share in Chevron at $90.31 after fees, one share in Procter & Gamble after fees of $122.54, one share in Microsoft with a cost after fees of $209.10, finally one share in Facebook with a cost of $235.82. So far, with this 20 company portfolio, I am diversified in 10 different sectors which I'm happy with. Just under 6% of my portfolio is in the communication sector with $264. 4.19% is in the consumer discretionary, which equates to $187.31. My biggest holding is in the consumer staple sector, just under 25% of my portfolio. This equates to over $1,000. In the energy sector is just under 3% with a cost of $132.69. My third biggest holding is in the financial sector, and this makes up just under 15% of my portfolio, or $663. In the healthcare sector, I have 9.63% of my money invested in this, which equates to $430. In the industrial sector, I have just over 7% of my portfolio, equating to $314. As of now, I don't have any investments in the material sector, but down the line, I hope to do so. In real estate, I have just under 3% of my portfolio, equating to $121. My second biggest holding is in the tech sector, with just over 21% holding, or $942. And in the utility sector, I have just over 7%, or $314 of my money. Overall, this equates to just under $4,500. So over the next few months, in terms of my passive income, I want to focus on three different streams. My first passive income stream will be through this 20 company portfolio. This passive income will be gained through capital gains and dividend payouts. 
the second stream that I want to work on is right here at YouTube. Obviously, as I've only started this channel over a month ago, I'm still a very far away of gaining the 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time that are required before your channel can be approved for monetization. And the third passive income that I want to get more involved with, that I have a passion for besides finance, is reptiles and animals in general. A lot of people would be surprised to know that ball pythons, for example, are an investment that a lot of people make. A lot of people around the world, particularly in the US, make a full-time income just from breeding ball pythons. And if you want to look at more information on ball pythons, you could go to such places as morphmarket.com to see the prices that these snakes actually go for. Again, down the line, I'll be making a lot more detailed videos in regards to the snakes, the reptiles, my YouTube journey, and also my stock portfolio. So with that being said, that brings the end to today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again.